So now this rule was recently uh, up upended by the Supreme Court's recent decision. Now, would you agree that the Biden administration has a pattern of purposefully misinterpreting the law in order to carry out their, po their political agenda? No, ma'am. I think, in fact, that the law keeps changing, and the Supreme Court had well, a very hard that, time trying to figure out. I haven't seen that law change out. here in Congress. So this was the intent um, of the Clean Water Act, and I have not seen that change. Um, so I would say that this is another example of the Biden administration and the EPA misinterpreting the law to carry out their own political agenda. Now, With Ms. Respect. Katzen, when discussing regulations made by the Biden administration in your testimony, you also state, uh, are these regulations determined uh, detrimental to our well-being? Hardly. Are they trying uh, tying us up in red tape? Certainly not. Well, going back to WOTUS and the Sackett family, who the, this Clean Water Act decision impacted, the family was threatened with fines of $10,000 per day had their property misclassified as a wetland and were prevented from building their family home. It may not be a $2.5 million home like yours, uh, but that sounds like a lot of red tape Excuse to me. Excuse me. Do, do you disagree? I, I really take that as a personal assumption. Do, do you assumption. disagree? My home. Do you disagree that this was an overreach? I, I disagree that Ms. Katzen, you're casting my time has aspersions expired. on Mr. Chairman, me I or my... Thank you. Mr. Chairman, um, could, could we just ask all of our good members to uh, respect uh, the civility and decorum and the uh, integrity of the witnesses who've come forward at their own expense to testify uh, before us today? And, and an insult is not a substitute for an argument. Uh, yield back to the you. The chair would advise the members to adhere to the House standard of decorum and proceed in order. I love Congresswoman Lauren Boebert. We need more people in Congress with her energy and her fight and her grit and her ability to combat hack witnesses that come forward uh, before Congress and don't provide any answers or transparency for the American people. But I have to say it is so just frustrating to see these investigations and these hearings going on day after day after day and this endless questioning and everyone just wants a piece of the pie to get a viral clip to be on television none of these witnesses ever provide real answers or truth nothing ever happens there's never any accountability and it just feels like the entire charade of congress has become a complete waste of time that we are funding and it's just so frustrating to watch like what is the point of this what answers are we getting to here? And it's just frustrating as an American taxpayer. I don't know about you, but it really angers me.